Hi, Tyler with Caster Concepts. Thought I'd check in with another product information video on our swivel on swivel caster. Um, so what is a swivel on swivel caster? Here's one in front of me. Uh, you'll see it's a, it's a caster with two different swivel sections on it. They're stacked on each other, a little bit offset. Um, really that allows for the caster to not only do its um, full circle of motion, but within that same circle, we now have more freedom to do more and allow, allow for better maneuverability. Um, so the big reasons or cases that we see swivel on swivel casters would be in manually pushed operations. Um, when the caster needs to go exactly 90 degrees of the movement of travel of where it's already sitting in. So <clears throat> that is also the hardest uh, position to be in for your push-pull forces. If you need more information on that, please watch that video on our website. Um, but what happens is you're a lot, you get some momentum going before the wheel actually has to move, and, and that's why it lowers your push-pull forces. The other application that we see these working well is uh, AGV applications, so automated guided vehicles. Um, they allow for the vehicles to stay on track and not fault out near as much. Um, so a lot of times automated guided vehicles are doing the same loop or same route all day long. So if you've got to go forward and then straight backwards, you'll see a lot of times where casters would sometimes move the cart around. We call that the castering effect. Um, but you'll see here on this caster, you're gonna be able to stay directly online while still moving like that. So the caster can go forward and straight back, eliminating that issue. Um, we see those uh, applications far more than the manually pushed uh, operations, but they do happen. Um, this specific caster here in front of me, this is our 154 series. Um, so this caster is actually rated for just over 2,000 pounds. So you get four of them on a cart, you've got 7,000 pounds. Um, also good to note that we have multiple wheel materials we can use. So this caster here, it's our green ergo tread. We could throw our, our dark tread on it of our TR95. Same caster is going to be rated for 3,500 pounds and I've got a total load over 10,000 pounds. So you can do some serious movement with these things. So um, hopefully this helped. Uh, if you like content like this, please subscribe for more.